Alright folks, I was preparing some screenshots for a video presentation having to do with 9-11. And I did a Google search for the words giant number 11. Because the Twin Towers, to a lot of us, looked like a giant number 11. And I came across this YouTube video. I'm surprised I haven't seen this clip before. It's on YouTube. It's about 11 minutes and some odd seconds long by a channel called Sesame Maniac. It's from an early, supposedly from an early 90s episode of the show Sesame Street. And the title of the video is Sesame Street Giant Number 11. I'd love to share the video clip on this, but I'm sure it, it would get a copyright strike. So you guys are just going to have to Google it. Or, of course, go directly to YouTube. Just type in the words, Giant Number 11. Again, the video is 11 minutes and some odd seconds long. So, at the beginning of this clip, the Muppet was sitting there, Telly. And he talked about how quiet it was. And then all of a sudden, this piece of music starts playing. And many of us would associate that song with 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's the main theme song. And while this theme song's playing, and this character seems mesmerized, because in front of him, materializing out of nowhere, is these twin monoliths. These giant twin monoliths, looking like a giant number 11, also looking like the Twin Towers. And I'll point out, this is supposedly from an early 90s episode, so it was long before 9-11 occurred. But well after the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey released. And this clip is clearly referencing the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. So this character, this Muppet, is mesmerized by the music and then with the materialization of these twin monoliths. Like I said, they looked a lot like the Twin Towers. He said it looks like a giant 11. It's a beautiful especially accompanied by the music. He makes this point a couple of times. So my video here and an upcoming one about 9-11 is going to have some prime relationships and some correlations with triangular numbers and whatnot. For now, I'll keep it simple and just say that the number 11 is the fifth prime number. And in 9-11, of course, the part of the story is the damage done to the Pentagon. And of course, the Pentagon has a lot to do with the number five. Pentagon, five-sided shape. It's literally in the name Penta. But getting back to this clip. So he's mesmerized by the music, sees the giant number 11, the music accompanies it. It's the main theme song from 2001, A Space Odyssey. Of course, we can connect that movie with 9-11 a few different ways. The most obvious is it's 2001, and 9-11 occurred in 2001. But if you've seen that movie, you might not have even seen it. People talk about it a lot, and um, you might have heard about the computer HAL. Well, the person who voiced Hal, Douglas Rain, ended up dying in on November 11th, 1111, in the year 2018. Of course, that year breaks down to 11. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8 is 11. He died on 11 11. And in this video, and in an upcoming video, I want to talk about a date coming up, December 12th, 1212. Maybe nothing's going to happen, but that date, if you break it down into a certain type of numerology, you get a sum of 31. 31's the 11th prime, 11 is the 5th prime. And of course, there was the situation with the Pentagon, Penta, five-sided shape there, and the Twin Towers. Which brings us back to the giant number 11. Now this character, he tries to talk to a few of the Sesame Street characters about what he's seen and what he's heard. And he invites them along to try to experience this beautiful giant number 11. 
And they don't seem to get it. And I think... Well, you guys are just going to have to look at the clip. Actually, you probably have seen it. I, I'm surprised I haven't come across this clip before. But yeah, do do a search. Giant number 11. Look for the 11 minute and some odd seconds long video. Sesame Maniac. So I'm going to break this down a little further in another video. I just wanted to just recap the 5th prime, of course, you know, Pentagon. 5th prime is 11. 11th prime is 31. And the 31st prime connects as well. The 31st prime number is 127. And that number connects with 9-11 as well. You think about the WTC buildings. 1, 2, and 7. A lot of people don't know about 7. Of course, people watching this channel know about building 7. But yeah, buildings 1, 2, and 7. So 127 connects. And so, to, at least to me, so does the movie 127 Hours. It has a release date. It's many different release dates, you know, film festival release, uh, released in this country, in this day, you know, whatever. But if you look up the release dates, it, one of the top searches will reveal that that movie came out on November 5th. So we got the 11 and 5 again. 5th prime is 11, 11th prime is 31, 31st prime is 127, the movie is 127 hours. And real quick, we gotta talk about the 127th triangular number. Shout out to the YouTube channel, 7711, and Bobby Simpson, Casey Jones Astrology, who brought this to my attention, 7711, I'll leave a link for his release, his latest video release, where he talks about the 127th triangular number. It's 8,128. That's what's known as a perf perfect number. And not going to get too much into that. I do have a video that I did about that number. I'll leave it in this description box. Had to do with math hidden in the show The Simpsons. And it's funny, we got this guy Bobby Simpson reaching out to me. And that was the only video I did about that number, as far as I can remember, is about The Simpsons. So yeah, Bobby Simpson, shout out to you for bringing this to my attention. And 7711 as well. So he's looking forward to this date that is 8,128 days after the attack on 9-11. Now I'll leave a link in the description box, a couple links, but one of his is for his recent video. And he's looking to a date that's actually December 13th and for many reasons. And he's talking about financial matters, Pluto return and whatnot. But you think about, we're talking about the world trade centers, world trade, you know, of course that has to do with money. But I'm also eyeballing December 12th, 1212. Now I think more lines up with, you know, the other YouTube channel with the information he put out. There's more that lines up than what he's talking about. But I'm saying let's also keep an eye on 1212. Of course, now we're thinking about 1111. And, you know, Douglas Rain, the voice of Hal, died on 1111. But yeah, just keep that in mind. The 11th prime number is 31. And that date that I'm talking about coming up soon is as a date numerology of 31. December 12th, 2023. Break it down. 12 plus 12 plus the individual digits of the year. 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3. Add them all together, you get 31. 31st prime number is 127. We're talking about the 127th triangular number of days coming up from 9-11. I'm sure I'll go over it again. Again, link's in the description box. But I guess the main point of this video could have made it much shorter. Giant number 11. 